This is Underwater Audio, and today we are going to give you a very general walkthrough of the most current version of iTunes. For the sake of this video, we are using iTunes 12.5.1, updated September 25th, 2016, and we will be focusing on the music portions of iTunes. If you do not have the most current version of iTunes, or you aren't sure if you do, checking for an update is super easy. We have a more in-depth video on our YouTube channel about exactly what this looks like. Click here to view our video. When you first open iTunes, you are given a whole bunch of options of things to look at. At the top, under the Apple logo, you have five different main categories to choose from. First, we are going to explore Library. Library lets you view everything that is currently in your iTunes Music Library. This is everything that was purchased through your Apple ID account or that you have uploaded to iTunes from a different source. An Apple ID account is an online account every user of an Apple product must set up to be able to purchase media through iTunes. Back to the library, you have a variety of options of things to look at on the left. Recently added artists, albums, songs, and genres. There are more selections that you can edit and choose from, however these are the four most common things and the easiest to understand. These categories sort everything in your music library in different ways, yet everything in your library is listed under every category. The reasons all these categories exist is for convenience when searching for something and it's designed to help you find what you're looking for the easiest way possible. If we explore recently added, it shows you everything you have downloaded or purchased on your iTunes account and it is sorted by time lengths such as the last week, the last three months, this year, and so on. If we go over to artists, the artist of all your music is sorted alphabetically. All of their different songs and albums by the same artist are listed together. Next on the list is albums, where all of your music is sorted by its album and songs from the same album are listed together. Songs is the individual file of every song in your library. If you right click on the top, it will bring up a selection bar of things you can view. You can customize what you want to view to your own preferences. The very last thing on this list is genre. This sorts the music in the library into specific genre types. Underneath all of these options is a list of your current playlists. A playlist is when you can put different songs together and listen to just those ones. We have a more in-depth video on our YouTube channel about exactly what this looks like. Click here to view our video. If you have videos, podcasts, or movies in your library and are wondering where to view them, you can go to the top to music and click down on what option you would like to view. If you don't see the option of media you're looking for, you can edit and select or deselect what you would like. The next main iTunes tab at the top is called For You. This is a unique collection of songs created for you based on your past music preferences. This option requires that you have an Apple Music account. An Apple Music account is different from an iTunes account because it is optional and gives you access to many great artists and songs to listen to without having to directly purchase those songs. However, even though you don't directly purchase the songs, you still have to pay a monthly Apple Music fee. The next option is called Browse, where you can browse music available through Apple Music. Radio lets you stream different music or news stations. The last main tab is called Store. This option allows you to look through and purchase music and media in iTunes to add to your library. This is separate from Apple Music and requires you to only have an Apple ID account. It is simple to add media to your device from your library. We have a more in-depth video on our YouTube channel about exactly what this looks like. Click here to view our video. Now you know all the basics of how to navigate iTunes. Please contact our customer service team if you have any questions about anything covered in this video.